let me know if you need top match. Thanks. Yeah, is that all right? Um, so we're recording now. I don't think of it as exploitation. I, I mean, I can see why some people might think that, but it really isn't. It's more like what all the socialists are saying uh, about, you know, wealth distribution, making everyone in society equal. So we top tramps, it's like their poverty equals my profit. And you can pick any of the current buzzwords, current management speak you like, aspirational values, lifting people out of hardship, uh, social mobility and all that, but ultimately, these tramps are giving to me, they're giving to me the only thing that they have, which I think is very admirable. And I've been on the street. I know what it's like. Granted, not for very long, you know, I accept that. But like everybody, I walk to the shops and see what's going on. I know how hard it is. I mean, we all do, right? We all know. We all see it. We all know what it's like to struggle. It's not easy to make the best of yourself. To find that inspiration. Well, it, it's difficult. Because when you think about it, there isn't a great deal of scope when it comes to tramp, so I knew that to get enough range, I had to broaden the definition a little bit. So you've got obvious stuff like glue sniffing tramp and big issue selling tramp, but you've also got Irish tramp with a dog, alcoholic tramp, kleptomaniac tramp who steals everything. And then you've got women. So you've got pill-popping nightclub tramp, you've got teenage mum with ten kids tramp, street-walking heroin tramp, the bored housewife tramp. There's a really good range in there which encourages a broader audience which obviously boosts sales. The tricky part was getting the categories to work across both tramp definitions. But we got there. We got there. So we've been working on expanding the range from our original sets of cards. We now have mugs, a range of clothing, other merchandise. We're looking at branching out into a children's cartoon that'll really put the brand out there and, and help get the kids in at an early age. Excuse me a second. Top trams, Benny Greenwood. Oh, Ed, how are you doing? Yeah. Oh. Right, turn that off, will you? Turn, turn, turn that off. Sorry, sorry, Ed, sorry, I just got some fellas. The only thing I wish I'd picked up on, which is, you know, failure on my part, is the whole public sector cuts thing. I wish I'd included ex-public sector workers, so you'd have ex-nurse tramp, Iraq vet tramp, middle management tramp, but there's still time. Top Tramps is going digital, so we're looking at Facebook apps, we're looking at iPad games, we're looking at setting up some fake Twitter accounts. So we're having Kleptomaniac Tramp, who's still on her phone, tweeting about life on the street, and we'll have Prostitute Tramp tweeting about her clients, you know, making jokes about personal hygiene and what's the best spot to have on the pavement. And the focus groups have been really great, I mean, the feedback we're getting is, you know, top draw. It's really helping us to shape the Top Tramps experience into what people really want. Of course, I want to give something back. Who doesn't? But like everyone else, I worry that the money goes on drugs or drink or something like that. Benny! I'll be looking for you. Benny, I'll be looking for you. Benny! Benny! Well, now that Top Tramps is up and running. The next big thing for me is public office. I'm good friends with Ed. You know Ed. I'm contributing to his leadership campaign at the moment. And after that, it'll be about securing a safe seat for the next election. So I've got four, maybe five years to get the money together, support the right people, make the right contacts. And then hopefully it'll be, you know, I'll be flying 30,000 feet and it'll be all about taking that leap of faith out the door and parachuting into a constituency somewhere. And after that, it's all about opportunities. Opportunities to help people. People like these guys. You see, it's all about movement. I see guys here, I see guys over there, and well, they're not going anywhere. They're, they're static. They're moving, but they have no movement. And if they have movement, then it's static. I'm not like that. I have to have a direction, a point on the horizon I can aim for. And then, I'm off. He was curbing me for months. 
every night it cruise by and it slow down and speed up and slow down and speed up and in the end I was like stop crawling me damn it either show me the money yeah or leave me alone yeah he pay me did not tip did not offer me a cigarette he's got some issues a bit um, you know and i see this all the time in politics you know i go to ed's parties and hovering up with the others all the names all the names from both sides of the house and the one thing they all have in common is this incredible sense of entitlement and you know they're living proof that it works if you just work hard and believe in yourself and you can have whatever you like. And that's what Top Tramps is all about for me. It's like riding a wave of poverty in a parliament. And that's all good. All good. The guy offered me 40 quid for my photo. I said, show me your contract. It's, it's fair enough, bro. Why do you want my picture? He convinced me to sign a release form, which I read carefully. He said he intended to use my image as part of the project, exploring social deprivation and well, he described himself as a humanist and wanted to use the work to uh, highlight local community issues like, well, like the homeless. He said he wanted to uh, throw a spotlight on people living in economic shadows. Well, that's what he said. I am suing him. Yeah. No, we no fee.